Hey guys, welcome to Uncut with Matcha. I don't know why I just did this. I've been doing this a lot. Um, welcome to probably the 10th video that will not make it to YouTube, but let's get started. Um, I just washed my face, put moisturizer on. I'm just going to put some sunscreen. Um, I'm going to use the Summer Friday Shade Drops in SPF 30. This has been my favorite sunscreen lately. I I really want to get my hands on the Elta MD sunscreen. I've heard and read a lot of good things. There's a brush I usually put my sunscreen on. I recently just washed all my brushes, which is a chore in itself. If you know, you know. Um, let's see. I've been trying to take care of, uh, take care of my skin a bit better, and place, put some sunscreen on. I've been breaking out lately, um, a lot on my cheek and around my jaw. Uh, so. Trying to do better with trying to reduce um, acne marks. I'm just using one of the Kitty Jane Hughes Spectrum brushes to apply this. I know how obnoxious it is to apply sunscreen with a brush, but um, since having a cat, I'm trying to limit the chance of cat hair getting on my face um, by touching my face with my fingers so I mean it'll definitely still happen but I've noticed I've have I've been having less of that lately. Okay. I'm going to go in next with um, the Makeup by Mario uh, Cream Bronzer, but I'm just going to... Yeah, my makeup is too sweet. Okay. <clears throat> um, today I woke up a bit earlier. I'm saying that like 10 is... Um, that early I woke up around 10 to go down the block to uh, get a little bit of a like a breakfast um, breading trout whatever situation and have a little coffee and take myself honestly out by myself and be alone read a little bit listen to a podcast and I've been incorporating that a lot more lately on my days off and it's been really nice i'm not gonna lie um to just it makes me slow down that's definitely something i've noticed and i recommend everyone to try to incorporate that i've noticed a difference with me trying me being a bit more patient in my day-to-day -day, you know life and i'm not i am definitely not a patient person uh, to a certain extent I literally have cat hair on my makeup brushes. I just washed them, don't judge me. Um, okay, I wanna use, I need to hurry up on this video and stop talking because my camera's gonna probably turn off soon. I'm taking the Makeup by Mario Medium Dark Skin Enhancer. Love this thing, oh my God. If you're looking for a cream bronzer and you're intimidated, this is so easy to uh, work with. And I'm going to be, um, what is it called, underpainting. I've been doing this for a while now, ever since seeing Mary Phillips do it. And I've been, I truly have been obsessed. Um, I do feel like my, my makeup is less mask-like and a bit more blended into my skin. 
And my goal really isn't to hide any imperfections or acne marks. Um, just for me, I feel like it will just lead to a bit more of a um, toxic, insecure route. And that's not my goal with doing makeup. I really do it for fun to enhance and bring color into my face, especially with the eyeshadow. Um, although I do go for a more natural ask look but i love playing with it and that's really been my goal of with um doing youtube for so many years i've been saying i'll do youtube makeup videos not that i am an expert for sure i am not uh this is not more of a tutorial but more of a i guess get ready with me and hear me word vomit <clears throat> okay. Let me fix this little baby. There we go. Okay. Feel all hair on my face already. Okay, I like where it's at right now. Not gonna lie. Um, I'm next gonna do my nose contour. I always say I'm going for a natural esque look, and this always goes south because at one point I look in the mirror and I have a full contour highlighting situation, but be patient. What am I looking for? Um, oh, my nose contouring brush. I bought, I recently um, bought the Makeup by Ariel um, brushes with Morphe and I've been obsessed. They're such great quality. If you can get your hands on it, definitely recommend 10 out of 10. Um, why can I not find this? Here it is. This is not even the makeup. This is not even the makeup by Aria. Um, nose contouring brush. I don't even think he has a nose contouring brush. This is by Patrick Ta. I've been obsessed with this, but also I will get to the makeup by Aria brushes. Um, I truly have found nothing has beat them with the quality. And the price. Oh my god, the price is amazing. So I'm going in with this nose contouring brush. Um, really starting under my eyebrow. I recently was talking with someone um, about <laughs> going to Turkey to get my nose job. I joke about it endlessly truly and i never will pull the trigger not so much because um i'm scared even of the surgery or of what the comments may come with it but more of i really want to embrace my nose and as i say i say that as i can't fully contour my nose um and like love the body I'm in and I don't hate my nose I just have insecure moments of it and have always been insecure about it but I always try to think of why I feel that way and I do think I'm sure societal standards play a huge influence on that and I try to understand when I have those moments or feelings what's really causing and there are tr truly there are moments where I'm like no I just genuinely don't like my nose and that's okay I'm never gonna fully love every single part of my body um, or like it but I can love it in every phase it's at okay what's next let's do um, <clears throat> let's do concealer I just have a bag of my makeup that I wanted to use for today or I have been using for a while I'm gonna go in with the Glossier uh, I uh, what is it concealer balm concealer and light five and I'm going in with the makeup by Ariel uh, Morphe brush concealer brush and I'm obsessed with this and I I'm trying to tell myself go light so I'm doing I'm using the makeup Philips or what is it called underpainting technique so we'll look a bit odd right now but you know bear with me basically and I'm really not even paying attention very detailed at it and that's what I also do love about this technique is 
you can sort of just not slap it on but in the end as you put the foundation on um, all over everything it really blends itself out and that's what I love about this technique okay I'm gonna go for <laughs> as I what I was literally gonna say was I'm, I think I'm gonna go for a natural look and then I looked and then I realized the makeup that I am doing I'm like um how about you see how it comes out and go from there I'm really not I am definitely really not doing anything today um just running a bit of errands uh what do I need to get I need to get more um the toothpaste tablets I've been using for a while need to go stock up on that get some cleaning supplies probably may have an excuse to go to Trader Joe's because I literally am obsessed with Trader Joe's um, <clears throat> I need to clean my place I need to water my plants for example look at this dying plant that is a representation of my life currently but we're gonna water it and give it some love as well with my other large plants and um and probably just read and catch up on on some things i'm gonna text some of my best friends today to see what they're doing um i would love to see them what am i looking for oh i want to blend this out that's what i want to do i'm gonna go in with um the Morphe 2 brush and just blend out a little bit of this contour just sloppily truly not even trying to be detailed with it just to prevent any <clears throat> um, lines showing okay did I put yeah I did okay and then I'll go in with um, what is this brush the V119 conceal and prime brush and I use this to just um, blend the eyeshadow, not the eyeshadow, the concealer a bit. Okay. Sorry, I'm really not looking into the camera that much. Hopefully, while this video is in view, but uh, we'll see, I guess. I'm trying to have a better posture because I arch a lot. Sorry, I just burped. <laughs> um, I arch my back a lot to the point where it's more comfortable in that position than um, in a better posture position by keeping my back a bit more straight. And that's really bad if it hurts the other way around because I eventually will have like a cramp. Oh. I always get targeted by those ads, um, especially around Amazon where, is it, I don't know if it's like a little belt thing to keep your back straight or this little device that you put on your back uh, to, I guess, train yourself. But maybe I have to just get that. Okay, what's next? I need to, I'm gonna leave my nose contour like this and let it sort of bake. Um, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I've been using the makeup by uh, Mario foundation. Can you, I'm a hot ass mess. Sorry. Where is my? <clears throat> Here it is. The makeup by Mario foundation and NW. I'm just gonna use one pump. Hopefully, and I'm gonna try not to use all of it um, because I'm going for a more natural esque look, as we said a hundred times. Okay, I'm going to go in with the makeup by Ariel brush and I don't know, A24. I'm just gently going over everything with this foundation. Um, not putting too much pressure on. And this just blends everything out. Okay. 
Okay, we're only 15 minutes into this recording. Hopefully, it doesn't die on me. I totally forgot to um, put brow gel and laminate my brows before I did foundation. It's okay. I'll get to that eventually. Hmm. I think I like it where it's at right now. I think I like it there. Still have some foundation left over, but I I'm trying to avoid using the foundation. Just using the foundation on the back of my palm that's left, just to use it and that. You, I know it sucks, you're trying to preserve as much product, but I realized when I used to use everything that's on my back, on my palm, I regret how much coverage I put on, and that's not my goal. I'm gonna go in with the beauty blender that my cat destroyed with its palm, or its nail claws. <clears throat> I'm just pressing everything. Gently, I feel there's a cat here on my face. <laughs> okay. This hair. Whatever. I will feel it when I feel it. Hopefully I'll catch it. Okay. I don't know why I'm already tired. I barely started my day. Okay. I'm going to let the nose contour still marinate. Um, I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow primer. I've been loving the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. I'm actually going to also wipe off this excess foundation on my palm before I get it on my clothes because I've done that a thousand times and ruined so many, so many items doing that. Okay. Um, I really need to hurry up. Jeez. I'm still using the, um, Pumpkin Spice oat, um, oat Milk by Calafia and I've literally stocked up on it. I have multiple um, boxes in my refrigerator and I'm going to be so sad when they stop uh, releasing it because of the holidays. Okay, let's do, I need to, let's just get this baby on there. Um, I want to do a little of a, a bit of a shimmer shimmer today. Let's see, let's see. What I meant by um, gl <laughs> glowing or laminating my brows was by I meant to use the Refi, um, what is this, the brow gel? before my foundation because what I've noticed is there's less like <laughs> this sounds gross but like um clumping of product because it's more on a clean canvas versus gluing it onto foundation and it just looks a bit cleaner when I do it prior to my base but I rarely ever remember to do that so here we are um, let me set my eyeshadow base. Where is my? I'm gonna just use my um, Patrick Star pink powder for this. Whatever. I love this pink powder. Wow. So good. I just. doesn't really show when it's like fluffed out. I 
gonna go in with the Patrick Ta um, matte eyeshadow palette. I've been obsessed with this eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go in with the uh, Makeup by Ariel brush in E A20. It's this tapered little cute thing. <laughs> little cute thing. Oh my god. It's perfect, honestly, um, as a one man show or as a blender eyeshadow. I would definitely get more of this when I bought the collection. Um, the jump, what is it? The jumbo or all face collection where every it's all the brushes together. I think I'm just missing a few that I didn't purchase, but whatever. I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm not too sad about it. Although, I might get tempted. I'm just going between that brush and the A11. I had this little trout toast breakfast and wow, it is so it was so good. It was the second time I was having it this morning and I devoured that. I literally inhaled it. Oh, I could definitely eat some more, but I have some, um, what was it? Some mac and cheese in the refrigerator that I bought yesterday. So I might just Put that, pop that in the toaster oven and bake that for a little bit and have that for lunch. Uh, we'll see. Probably we'll just go out with my mama. Okay, what do we think? Can you even see anything on this? Um, definitely check out this eyeshadow palette. It's literally, I'm trying to not blind you with the mirror. It's literally perfection. It has every color you need. If you are even beginning with makeup and you're intimidated by all the eyeshadow palettes, this one is a great one. I've been, I have not put this down honestly. And I like make I don't like sticking to one eyeshadow palette just to give all my palettes a little love, but this is the one lately. I cannot believe it's almost December and then the new year. This year has zip throughs. It feels like it was forever in the hardest year, but it also went by so fast. And all the trauma has not been forgotten, that's for sure. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so yeah, I am a bit in shock with how fast this new year is coming. But also really grateful because I definitely look at the new year as more of new beginnings in that sense and bringing in new intentions and what you'll um try to put more into i don't really i'm not too big on like what are my um <clears throat> what is it like i'm gonna do this for the new year and whatever whatever i feel like that's too much pressure I need to stop putting eyeshadow on because <laughs> this is just going to be too blown now and that's not what I want. Because um, I've been there and I feel like that's so much pressure when you're when you're like, I'm going to do this indefinitely. And it's and I think it's like maybe trying to incorporate it a little slowly um, and less um, pressure on yourself and the purpose of it's more enjoying I guess or what the, you're trying to uh, reach with that goal um, okay what do I want to go in with next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this um, eyeliner so yeah I've been uh, and that's how I've been looking at the new year for the past couple of years and for me that's how it's worked out because 
Um, and I feel like I'm more intentional or, um, I don't know, I'm the type of person when when there's too much pressure on things, uh, with myself that is, I try to run away from it or avoid it. And when I look at it more as a opportunity to, whether that is to see what I, whether I will enjoy it or whether um, I will learn something uh, new about myself. I've been looking at it more as that and I have felt that I, um, come towards it a little bit more um, with an open mind and and truly trying to see if it I'll enjoy this new thing or well myself what that new thing might just be um, related to growing myself such as therapy and doing these little things of trying to um, run away from it less if that makes sense mm, let's see let me fix this thing really quickly i feel like it's a bit um this brush that I literally just had. I need to hurry up because this is already at 26 minutes and it's taken forever and I cannot find my brush. Oh, here it is. It's the Vive uh, Lip and Line Brush. It's a great, um, it's a great brush for a lot of things. I've used this for uh, cleaning up my red lip before. Oh, I do not like <laughs> I made these eyeliners really sloppy today, but whatever, we're here. And we have to just roll with it. I'm blending um, that the brown eyeliner with this medium brown shade and using the Kitty Jane Hughes brush in 18 with Spectrum. It's a bit sloppier on the left side, so I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. And by that I just added a little bit more. Okay, whatever, that's the best it's gonna get. Um, I'm just gonna go in with this, a lighter shade. And I'm just placing that in the inner corner to clean it up so it looks a lot more cleaned up and less muddy not talk right now um now i'm gonna go in with a shimmer and before i do that I'm just gonna dab excuse me sorry guys i'm just gonna quickly go wash my hands before i continue okay brb I want to go back with my concealer brush and that's the problem of having so many brushes it's it takes me literally forever to look for the brush I'm 
I'm really wanting. Okay, where's the concealer? I'm gonna go in with my concealer brush and just and clean up. I'm not even adding any product using whatever is left. Literally like that. I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender. Go in with some blush. I'm gonna go in with the She's Flush. What I'm gonna do differently this time with my blush that I've been doing lately is um been going crazy with the powder when I get to that part but I'm gonna go in with this Laura Mercier uh, blush instead because it's more of a more more of a brown hue um and this is definitely more pink which I love but just for the winter fall let's bring some warmth into our cheeks I'm obsessed with the Patrick Ta I blushes. I really am obsessed with the whole line. So I don't know why I said it like that, but oh jeez, I just put a shit ton, but whatever. We're just gonna roll with it guys. I promise it will be blended out. Okay. I'm gonna go in with the beauty blender. Okay, nice, nice. I'm gonna do the whole little nose thing. Like I'm blushing, hee hee hee, but really I'm not, it's so fake. <laughs> um, but we're here for it. Let's see what's next. I'm just gonna blend this nose contour the slightest. And I just saw, um, I saw a nose contouring video by Patrick Tall a while ago and he just says that Place the brush literally barely touching the skin to blend this nose contour and that's what I've been doing lately um, hoping that I look like Patrick Ta's models but also let's blend this um, concealer Next, I'm gonna go in with the um, Patrick Star Patrick Star Pink Powder. I've been using this a lot lately, or ever since I got my hands on it, and can't stop. I really do notice a difference, but I might also be saying that about everything. So, take it with a little grain of salt. Is that the same? I'm not sure. I'm not a big uh, lower lash eyeshadow wearing person. I just feel like it drags my eyes down. Um, but also I think it's because I don't know how to blend great. Or be the greatest blender that is. I keep getting freaking cat hair on my face. Yes, I put this pink powder in my bright areas or more of my T-zone that is. Okay. Oh, shh. I made a mess. Whatever. Um, let's take care of these brows. I'm going to go in with the Refi Brow Gel. I really get them coated. And this is all I do to my brows. I'm really lazy. I, 
or wasn't this lazy, I'd probably get my eyebrows uh, threaded. But here we are. I let that sit there for a second, for a second, and just go on to my next brow. And I feel like it it does stay um stay up a bit better when I do this. <laughs> Okay, next I'm gonna go with the brush side. She is glued, baby. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a, flush, a fluffy brush, uh, the Makeup by Ariel A21. I'm gonna go in the Laura Mercier Honey Translucent Powder, and this I loosely, uh, loosely press everywhere. Um, Okay, this is extremely light. I really enjoy just putting it around the perimeters. Um, next, gonna go in with. Let's do. Let's do lashes. I'm just gonna quickly. I've been doing this lately, um, which is where is it? Uh, the Lancome Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner, and this is the brown chocolate one. I've been applying it under my lash line. And it just been, I, it just has been providing more depth. Okay. Just the smallest amount. Let me get closer. <laughs> Next, I'm just gonna go in with curling my lashes. Oh, before I do that, I want to use some eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna use the Space Cowboy eyeshadow, the Moon uh, Moon Dust Urban Decay. What brush do I want to use? I'm just gonna go in with the Spectrum Kitty Jane Hughes uh, number 15. Do I want? Slightest in the middle. Oh, this is so pretty. I discovered this, um, I think from, oh, what is her name? Makeup by, let me pull her up. I've, I've been literally obsessed with her makeup and I've learned a lot from her also. What is her name? Oh, here it is. Um, makeup by Kelly Ann Sewell, I think. Um, oh, love her makeup. Wow. I've been obsessed with it. She does such a beautiful twist on it that I just really haven't seen that a lot. I can, something that I think is comparable to her, um, which is, is Patrick Ta, I think. They have, I think a similar makeup look. I'm gonna go in with the Lancome 
um, lash primer. Okay. And I curl the lash. My shirt and jeans are so wrinkly, but I'm too lazy to um, iron it or unwrinkle it. And I literally got a whole machine for it, uh, so I will be less lazy with doing that, but no, still don't want to be bothered. I'm so annoying. <laughs> Using the uh, the Munsir Big Waterproof Lancome uh, mascara, I've been using this for a long time. It is quite a pain in the ass to take it off in the end of the day, but I still think it's worth it. Okay. Okay. Let's take. So let's do blush. I'm gonna do uh, literally the smallest amount of the She's Flush blush, just literally the lightest coat. Um, just because I really wanna mainly use the, what is it, the um, Laura Mercier blush, which I'll show you guys. a fresco blush and I'm really gonna pack this baby on and it's more of a like a brown brownie peachy <laughs> blush I mean just try it I'm like brown and peachy don't sound ready but oh I can just keep applying this and I would be just fine with that. Doing the little, <laughs> little blush on the nose bridge. Guys, literally I am applying pounds of this. And look, it's not even clown face blush right now. Okay, Q, 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 let's do, um, let's do a little highlight under our eyes. I love using the, what is this, uh, Fenty, where's my Fenty? My Fenty, um, powder in 200, yeah. points oh I'm actually obsessed with today's makeup um, or we'll see when I actually leave the house that's really my when you look into that the car mirror and <laughs> it shows everything even a little surprise that's your true like judge right there um let's see what is next sometimes i like to do the tiniest dot under on my lower lash side i don't know it just brings it balances the top and the bottom out um i like to use the brown eyeliner for that i'm just dropping stuff and i'm trying to make this video Oh, 
Okay, cute, cute, cute. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just about done. I'm gonna put some. Beauty um, highlighter and mesmerize. This is just such the most prettiest um, topper. I'm just gonna go in with the Vive uh, precision, precision, precision powder brush in one, two, three. line my lips um, I've been using the makeup uh, forever liner in anywhere caffeine in 600 I'm just gonna use this baby and then sharpen it Okay. Maybe I'll, yeah, maybe I'll just go in with a little bit of this is the Patrick Ta. She's unapologetic. Um, what is this? Lip cream. Just in the middle. That's about it. Um, just gonna go in with the LYS natural finish. Okay. I literally use a little paper nail to bend myself. Okay guys, that's literally the look as I throw that on the ground. Thanks for coming. Um, this is the final look. Gonna just pair it with these Nike shoes and head out. Bye, thanks. <laughs>